Well, I think Andreas is a fantastic engineer. He's also a super nice person and extremely reliable. It's a pleasure to work with him. Peter is a wonderful chemist, you know, very creative. He's a person who has always the application in mind and a very clear focus on using the, the work he is doing. In this way, that's a, a fantastic collaboration. So before we started the malaria project, I in fact knew Peter already. I knew about malaria, but I had no connection to it. And he just introduced the problem and he knew us as separation experts. All I try to do is turn around one electron using light and a dye. And once we had done that, then we realized this single oxygen the molecule we could make that way. That molecule turns out to be actually really important. And now that the key of our invention or of our activity is to do a continuous separation. We never anticipated the need to make this on large scale. And all of a sudden we find ourselves in a situation where we're planning um, 100 ton reactors uh, to produce really large uh, quantities. This project taught me that the extraction of natural products is not easy in an economic manner, well, that's the question. But here we achieved a, a status where we believe it's also economically attractive. That's not what we are trained for, that's not what we are supposed to do at Max Planck Institute, we are really basic researchers and that's to some degree why we also spun off two companies up to now in this, in this space, because that's the only way how these projects can really move forward, because otherwise it outgrows what we can do at these research institutions. It's a big honor. I, I now learn more about Phenomenex. It's a wonderful company with a philanthropic uh, mind and view and the analytical scientist growing and uh, very visible. So in, in this respect, to get an award from these two directions, that's uh, very nice and I'm very grateful and proud of it. <laughs>